Hi guys, I'm Jim Sander here. Uh, I thought I would do a little uh, voiceover for you. While I was at work, in my first time with this, I thought I had my voiceover for you. The reason being, I record a lot of my, I made it here for a week. I got my iPad. I record out from my iPad. Recording software that I have on my laptop, I have a microphone to check and uncheck, you know, to check. It only records the way people are going to do it on the phone, which is what I'm on. And I've been doing it for 20 years or so, to be recording the story and show that. Why I like them, why I don't like them, things of that nature. And, uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens here. So, anyway, we're going to start with the uh, grass type thing. It's really hard for me to come up with like a favorite grass type because honestly, I never really use grass types much or uh, until about. Jenny 7 was when I kept one on my team full time, and that actually is kind of leading into my grass type later, which is Decidueye. Uh, I honestly, I just I love Decidueye. I love it shiny, I love it as everything, really. I just love everything about him. I'm pretty partial to bird Pokemon, just because, uh, you know, designs like Pidgeot, uh, Pidgeot's pretty freaking cool. I love how streamlined the thing is. It's kind of smooth, sleek, and simple. It didn't need some extra extra nonsense added to it. So I like to be kind of like the bird Pokemon, and that kind of fits in with Decidueye. I mean, it's a bird archer grass, you know, grass type. <coughs> and uh, this shiny is just unbelievably awesome as far as I'm concerned. It's you know, the, the black wings. Making it look like you were in a cloak. Uh, just the uh, all around coloring of it, really. But yeah, uh, I mean, you, you could really go with. I could go with, you know, something simple like picking a, a legendary, like, say, Selvin or, you know, Shane or you know, something weird like that. But I really don't like picking legendary to be my favorite. But I just think it seems kind of. This seems kind of cliche. It seems like something somebody would, you know, do just to be, you know, because it's super powerful or built that way. But, yeah, honestly, the only Pokemon that's grass that that's really spent any large amount of time on my team is, uh, Sidious. Raw would be Dark Trips too, but, you know, my favorite is the Sidious just because I just, Never really been partial to any grass type Pokemon. I mean, there's some that are, you know, have some nostalgia value to it, like Weeping Bell and, or, uh, Victory Bell, Weeping Bell, Auto, Biofood, and all them. But they just never really have been Pokemon that I totally enjoyed as far as you can look at these. You know, and I'm not much for, like, you know, the battle aspect of Pokemon. I'm, I'm, Never really ever played against another person. I think I just battled against one person that wasn't my wife. And the entire time I played Pokemon, and I played since Red and Blue, that, you know, I battled them and I got completely manhandled because I'm not, 
I'm not all about those IV EVs, you know, things like that. And, you know, if they are, I'm not proud of too, but that's just never been something I've really been involved with or interested in as far as, you know, gameplay aspect. I mean, I probably could be, but I just never have been. I've enjoyed the collecting aspect more than I have the battling aspect, so getting all the things and all that crap has just never been important to me. And, uh, yeah, if you, uh, you guys hear any sudden bursts of sound or, you know, moving parts or anything like that, if I'm literally recording this out or if I'm doing my job as I'm, you know, talking here, so... You'll we'll probably hear some sudden noises that seem out of place, but uh, and, you know, machines and such doing their job and making noise and all that. But anywho, yeah, it's just kind of one of those things where it was, for me, a grass type's never been a type I held on my team other than if I was battling a, a lot of trade. I mean, I kept them on my team to raise them and evolve them, but... For the most part, I almost never used the grass type, even if they were on my team, I was just experienced to do its job. But yeah, with the CGI, it became completely different, especially when you're using Z Crystal. But I've never been one for using the moves. I can say it's just, I'm an impatient guy, and it takes a long time to activate and go through. So it's just, honestly, I thought like, the Z Crystal were, the Z moves were nice. It was a different game mechanic, but it was never one I completely got attached to just because, like I said, I'm an impatient man and I could play the last and get off. So, you know, you got. You, you get these moves that just take forever, and I'm just kind of like, I want to demo this battle already, but I don't know what this is. It's just really cool the way he, you know leaps into the air and just has this cascade of oil just rain down on me like a you know, hailstorm. But I don't know. I just thought it was cool. Uh, it, that's, that's, but yeah, that's my grass type favorite is the Super I know this seems kind of out of field, but uh, the next type you're going to talk about is uh, dark type. Uh, and I know it just seems kind of weird to go from grass to dark, but honestly, I'm just using Google to kind of really remind myself that every type of Pokemon is the way to There are certain types where I just never use them on my team. I left them on there to get the evolution for the Pokedex, but I never actually use the majority of them in battle, or if I did it very, very sparingly. Uh, so, the dark time, it kind of comes down to like a three-way tie, and it really kind of is tough for me because it's, you know, Tyranitar, Grim Sorrow, and uh, Houndoom. Well, specifically, the Mega Houndoom, but Houndoom still is pretty much cool looking. It's just... <clears throat> I'm kind of partial to the Cedar Legendary because they take a long time to get to their final evolution, but they can be pretty freaking powerful if you, you know, have the right stats behind them, and I just, I'm, I'm pretty pers- partial to the pseudo legendary just because with how long it takes to evolve, it just kind of feels like you put more time and effort into raising them, and it's just, you know, I go, I know it's something silly considering you did the monster, but you just kind of, you grow more than a passion to you can put more of your time into it, but, uh, I just like the way Houndoom looks because he's just literally an hellhound. He's like severely badass, but just one of the things where it's just like, do I like pseudo legendary for pseudo legendariness, or do I like uh, Houndoom because he looks like an hellhound? And Grimstar is kind of, you know, is the newest addition to the dark team. Uh, one of the newest ones. It, it looks really cool, and I actually had a green star on my team for quite a long time, a lot longer than I did at uh, the Tyrannosaur or the Houndoom. I never really had Houndoom on my team, because half the time I caught the Houndoom, I was, or Hound Hour, I was crazy to it for whatever it needed to be to evolve, so I never spent a large amount of time on my team, because I... 
I traditionally I kept a starter, a flying type, and a water type on my team to you know, tackle the the surf the surfing aspects of the game and then my starter because you know it's my first ever Pokemon and then the flying type so I fly everywhere. And then you know I had a extra Pokemon that I kept on my team just to a wall that would handle the rest of the agent, but I always kept the water type on my team because the water type is just kind of one of my more favorite items. And um, for the most part, this is the one I traditionally picked on my, as my starter anyway, so a lot of times the water type didn't end up being the starter, so it cleared up a spot on my team, but I, I never honestly use Houndoom all that much just because of that reason, because I caught it when it was relatively close to evolving and that's what it also moved it on. So but yeah, when I played Sword and Shield, uh, that's you guys will probably see later on down the line. I did use the Grimstone quite a bit and I actually participated in quite a few different Grimstone raids just to capture because I like Grimstone. I don't exactly know what the stats are sitting at, as far as whether or not the good Pokemon would be stat wise, but I had fun battling with him, you know. He, he covered quite a few Titans and he was a rather strong Pokemon to cut it out. Um, again, I don't know how true that is by a technical speaking, because um, having, not, not having checked his stats, I don't know really know where to do that in the game yet, so I don't you know, haven't done it, and I really haven't done it because I just don't care to find out half the time. I'm not, as I said, I'm not much of a stacked battle as I am of the uh, collecting aspect of me, so you, you get that aspect, and all of a sudden you just, you know, you don't really care what the stats are. But I understand other people do, and I'm uh, not digging on them, it's just that's not what I play the game for. I play the game more for the collection aspect. It's honestly why both me and the wife play the game for the collection aspect. Plus, you know, it's relatively easy to remember what Pokemon evolved at what time or what level, but uh, Gen 8, Gen 8 kind of threw a wrench in it. A lot of the Pokemon in that game evolved to a scenario, not an actual level, so it's just kind of like, you know, yeah, it's nice, but. You know, when you got a Pokemon that can literally evolve from being a squirrel, it just kind of throws off memorizing the level a little bit. But, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, uh, it's just kind of, for me, it was always breaking down to the electric pseudo legendary, or the electric how hard, or the like, the brand new, you know. I don't even know what the hell Grim Snow was supposed to be other than like another demon, but, yeah, kind of for me, it's just like a certain of. Uh, Houndoom over Grimstar as far as the looks are concerned, so I don't the power, so I guess, honestly, if I were to break it down into my favorite, it would have to be, I don't know, Houndoom, mostly because of its mega form, its mega form is just so cool, you know, and honestly, I've never used one in battle, because I never got the mega form by the time I, you know, had the hound being to where it was, you know, not easy and all of uh, the people are battling. So it's just, again, never something I never, time never really helped me out with. But as far as looks are concerned, yeah, I, I would have to say just based on looks are, you know, hard to you know, he just, again, looks so cool. And uh, for me, not being a battler, looks to be more than power half the time. And you know there are some Pokemon out there that look pretty cool. I can't admit to some of them just not being as strong as others, so I wouldn't use them on my team because it would just be, you know, a really cool looking thing to die off. Uh, but, yeah, as far as that, it's, you know, grass is, grass is, uh, the city ride and dark uh, type there is hungry.
And I guess next on the list is uh, Dragon Fighters, which is uh, quite another leap considering you go from Graph to Dark to Dragon. But uh, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, Dragon is just kind of a weird typing altogether. So you think there's these Pokemon that are, you know, should be Dragon types, like, you know, the obvious one is Charizard. Uh, you know, how the hell Charizard isn't a fire Dragon type if you are in the I mean, I guess. It would have to fit into the, uh, the technicness to strength trio that they normally do with the target, but it just should have been a target dragon, honestly, but um, you, you, it's easy to go for, as far as I'm concerned, like it's really easy to go with nostalgia out there and get up like Dragonite, but for me, that Dragonite just Never really spoken, mostly because it's just a pain in my ass to get in the uh, red, blue, and you know, yellow. Being able to only get it from the casino just kind of made it a pain in the ass, but by the time you got it, it was so weak you had to spend forever, and you're already practically halfway through the game. You know, you had to spend forever to raise it, and you lost a lot of trainers that would have helped along the way in that, but, uh, yeah, you just never really get it for me, and I, I get like a lot of people do like them, and he's a great Pokemon, it's just not my favorite, just because of, like I said, how, how much work it took to raise him, I suppose, but when you got him, it just never really spoke to me, but, uh, yeah, I think and the funniest thing is, is one of the Pokemon that I do enjoy that's a dragon type, but it's just one that I never really noticed when they were a dragon type, because they just didn't speak to me. It really looked like a dragon type, and I can never notice. I mean, I get it now that you know, maybe I was a dragon type, I get how it got there, but when you first look at it, and you just you hear a dragon, and you're like, that's not a dragon type. But, yeah, I like the movement, I like the look, I like it. I just like that he looks like a, you know, feels like a dragon. Nah, uh, you know, it just, it speaks to me, you know. Like, I, again, I never really totally used Noivern. I started using him a little bit towards, uh, towards playing the Sun and Moon. Uh, just because I, I, uh, I kept a lot of them when I did wonder trades when they would give me a noise and I hold on to the noise and I'd be like, yeah, I didn't mean to, you know, I didn't really know them, but it's just a bad kid, it's just a bad kid, it's just a bad kid, it's not the level of them, you know, so I would hold on to them all and I would use, I would use the other way of getting higher up a little bit. one of those ones where I'm like, I never really understood how any of those were pronounced, but I always 
I'd seen the enemy on the first two, so I knew how to, you know, pronounce Jay Morrow and, you know, so I can't remember what his other evolution name is, but, uh, yeah, Hakomo O looks pretty, pretty, you know, wicked like a big, you know, big old armor beat up dragon, but, yeah, I don't know. For me, like, uh, the favorite dragon would have to be, uh, Noibrin, just Noibrin. Like, I could go with the uh, Dragonite for, or, uh, yeah, Dragonite for uh, nostalgia purposes, but I never really had a nostalgic connection, so it really wouldn't make any sense to pick it up in favor. So, yeah, no, ha- um, Noibrin, or Hakoma would be like a very close second, but. Honest to God, I, I pretty much never used any dragon types on my team because I, I, uh, I just never really liked them, honestly. Like, I, I like the designs of the book one, I just never really liked dragon types. And it's mostly just from that. I, I, uh, just never used them. There was hardly ever any until like fourth or fifth generation and they just put in a bunch and for me it's just like trying to do this without picking any legendary Pokemon it got pretty hard to dragon types there's a lot of legendary dragon types so it just kind of made it a little bit of a uh, hard one to pick but honestly the non-legendary dragon type I'd have to say would be more than 